What's up everyone, this is Mo Gaming here, and today's video I'm going to be talking about how to reinstall your PlayStation 4 system software without losing your data, as well as without a USB itself. So let's get right into this. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to turn off your PlayStation 4 completely from the uh, console itself. Once it is fully turned off and no white or any blue uh, light is light shining on from the PlayStation 4, we're going to basically enter into the PlayStation 4 safe mode. So once it's fully off, I'm looking at it from the right side, it's still on. You might see it shining a little bit on the reflection of the monitor. So as soon as that turns off, I'm actually going to show you what to do next. And it is now off. All right, cool. So what we're going to do next is we're going to basically enter into safe mode. The way you do this is you hold on to the power button for about 5 to 10 seconds until you hear two beeps. So we heard beep number one. And let go. I think I heard beep number two. Either that or, I'm, yep, I heard beep number two. <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, uh, an extra interesting thing. If you don't hear another beep, it's still good to let go after about maximum of 10 seconds because there's a possibility like your PlayStation is old. It doesn't want to, it doesn't make a beep or it doesn't want to make a beep, whatever the case may be. Just an FYI. Now, you have to connect your controller to a wired uh, on your PlayStation 4 controller. If you do not do that, as it says over there with a USB cable, it will not work. You have to do that. So a lot of people, as I've shown video like how to get into safe mode, asked me, oh, it's not working. You have to make sure the wire is authentic and the controller is clean and working. So once you're in here, you're going to press the PlayStation button. And then the next thing people say is, oh, it's not moving. You cannot use the analog stick. You have to use the D-pad to be able to navigate in this screen. So just an FYI, you actually do have to do that to be able to basically get to where you want to. Now, so what you're going to do is like most likely you're doing this because your system is getting problems. You're trying to play some games and then having a bunch of errors like the ones I make a lot of videos on. And what you're going to do is you don't have a USB and you want to basically update your system or like kind of like reinstall it without losing your data. So this process, you won't lose your data. The first thing you can obviously do is with the USB method. If you don't know how to do that, I will leave a link in the description below. You download the update itself from the PlayStation website. You put on the USB, you connect your USB into the PlayStation 4 and voila you just click, click that button and you're good to go obviously if I do that right now it's gonna say I don't have anything connected and it's not gonna work what you can do next is even if you have the latest version installed you can actually still click update using internet and interestingly enough it'll actually work it'll literally start downloading the update file and it will actually install the file I'm actually gonna cancel it because I already have it but it actually ends up working that is a very interesting part so you can actually reinstall your software without losing any data from here directly so I would highly recommend you to do this as well this is like a generic one for like any issues that you're having especially after the update I would highly recommend you doing this uh, to basically get rid of a lot of your problems whether it's like a loop mode whether your your games are crashing whether you I don't know you can't get your PlayStation Plus trial I'd highly recommend you doing this because you don't lose anything you don't lose any data just lose a little bit of time obviously doing this it might mess your settings up from the PlayStation 4 but nothing more nothing less um, and again you don't need to use a USB, so I would highly recommend you to actually try this out. So yeah, um, if you guys found this video helpful and informative, please smash that like button. It helps a lot. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell. Uh, Matt, Mo Gaming out. Peace.